Hello everyone, let us do the 1 billion users question, which is a search question. And it's kind of a mathematical or numerical question, which is interesting. So here we have n different apps with different user growth rates at a given time t measured in days. The number of users using the app is g to the power t, right? So it's an exponential. And then we were interested in the total number of users and how many days it takes to reach 1 billion users across the app, right? Uh, so if we scroll down to look at the examples, if we have just one growth rate, the answer is 52. Now why is it 52? Let's check out the... Uh, um, let's do some basic math to figure this out. So uh, if we do 1.5 to the power 52, you get something that's... I think that's 1.4 billion or so. Uh, which is above a billion, but if you do 1.5 to the power 51, you get a number that's less than a billion. So we want to find, you know, the number, the integer, uh, that gives us a value greater than or equal to a billion. And down here, we have the example of 1.2, 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3. And if you do the math, you get what's shown up here. Um, so if you add these up, you get a value that's just above a billion, right? So we're interested in that integer that gives us the value above or equal to a billion. So how can we do this in code? How can we find this integer? Uh, once you know the integer, or once you have the integer, it's easy to verify that it works, as we did here, right? But how do you find this thing in the first place, right? That's the question. And to do that, um, we can use basically the bisection method which you can think of as a binary search method, um, where you first, you know, you start with two variables, one uh, that gives you, gives you a, a you know, a number less than a billion, and the other variable should give you a number greater than a billion, once you plug it into the sum of exponentials, right? Um, and then you can sort of do a binary search to squeeze in on, on the value that gives you the exact number of days to, you know, just above a billion. So let me paste in some comments here. Uh, so mathematically, basically, we have this function, right, in this example. Let's say, right, 1.1 to the power t, 1.2 to the power t, 1.3 to the power t. And we want to find a, the minimum t such that this is greater than a billion, right? F of, f of t is greater than or equal to to a billion. Um, and this function, if you want to visualize it, looks a bit like this, right? It's a bit like an exponential, but it's actually the sum of exponentials. And we want to see, you know, how long it takes until you get to a billion. All right, so let's write some code to solve the problem. Uh, I'm going to paste in one thing here. I'm going to paste in this, this function, right? This is going to be our helper function that does the calculation for us of of the number of users, right? Given RG rates, right? And a T value, which is the number of days. Uh, and let me rename this to rates, which is a Python list. Here are the test cases, which are just lists, right? So, how can we get started on on uh, using the bisection method to solve this? So first of all, we need a low variable and a high variable, right? Um, and we want what we want is f of rates low to be less than a billion, and we want f of rates uh, high to be greater than a billion, right? And so if we plug in one for t here, um, it's going to be less than a billion, right? Especially if we look at the input constraints here, it's going to be less than a billion for sure. Now, how do we find a high such that f, if you plug it into f, we know that it's going to be greater than a billion? Well, one thing you could do is um, just keep increasing high uh, until you get a value greater than a billion. So we're just going to do while f of rates high is less than or equal to a billion, where uh, 
bill equals. Let's just do it that way. So I don't have to type it out multiple times. Um, here I'm just going to multiply high by 10. Right? So high will increase pretty quickly here. And as long as the growth rates aren't super close to 1, uh, this should get us, uh, this should not have to iterate too many times, right? Maybe a handful of times or something like that. So, yeah, at this point we are guaranteed that f of rates low is less than a billion and f of rates high is greater than a billion. Now we can use our bisection method, which we'll do with a loop. So while high minus low is greater than one, let's create a midpoint between those between high and low, which is going to be uh, low plus high. And I should not have that W. Okay, divided by two, that's the midpoint. And then if f of rates uh, at the midpoint is less than a billion, we're going to do low equals mid, um, else high equals the midpoint, right? So typical uh, binary search uh, code here, right? So, and then at some point, high and low are going to get really close, right, to a billion. And then we're ready to return a value, right? So high and low here are not going to be integers necessarily. So we need to first check if, uh, so if f of rates uh, math dot floor of high, if that's greater than or equal to a billion, then we return math dot floor of high. Otherwise, we return uh, the ceiling, right? Math dot seal of high. Um, so we check the floor first, right? Because we want to make sure we get the minimum, the minimum t, such that the sum of the exponentials is greater than or equal to a billion. Um, and yeah, so at, let me just go back here to after our bisection loop here. We are guaranteed that. Uh, uh, that f of rates low, that's always going to be less than a billion, right? And f of rates high could be greater than or equal to a billion, right? And so that, because of this, uh, we can return these values, uh, or we can return the value in this way. Uh, so I hope, I think that's right, and I hope that makes sense to you. Let me run it to see if that's correct, or to see if we at least passed our two test cases. And looks like we did. So these two guys here. And let me just review this really quickly. I think this makes sense. Um, in terms of the runtime complexity, this is a list, right? If the list, if it's a big list, then obviously Evaluating this function will take more time, right? If this is an O of n complexity, right? We're just summing everything in the list after exponentiating it. Um, this loop, this bisection loop, doesn't really depend on the length of the rates list, uh, other than you know evaluating this function here. Um, so, but, but yeah, but the bisection itself doesn't depend on how complex. The function is other than again other than evaluating this function but I mean the number of times this has to iterate doesn't I think sh doesn't really depend on on how long this array is or this list is right um, so I hope that makes some sense and um, let me know what you think in the comments or if you have a better solution feel free uh, to share with me and others so thanks very much for watching